Tonight, I'm gonna deep freeze my Tesla. Tonight, Minnesota is gonna reach seven degrees below zero Fahrenheit, that's 14 below Celsius. And I'm gonna see what happens to my car when I leave it unplugged overnight in the cold. I'm gonna turn off sentry mode, any other parasitic draws that we might have in the car. Battery's a little warm right now because we took it out to dinner, but we'll check in in the morning, open service mode, see what the battery temperatures are and what percentage we're at. Apparently we're sitting at 62%, so we'll see what happens when we wake up in the morning with a cold battery and what percentage we'll have. Will the car start? Stay tuned. See you in the morning. Alright, good morning. It's about 12 hours later. According to the National Weather Service, it hit 6 below 0 Fahrenheit last night and it's currently 4 below. According to the car, it's 3 below. I checked the percentage on the app and we're sitting at 55%. So that means we lost about 6 or 7% of the battery overnight. Um, an interesting graphic showed on the screen, a little snowflake icon that said that less energy is available due to the cold temperatures. We'll pop in, take a look, and see if any energy was used to keep the battery warm. And take a look here in the service menu. Press and hold until it flashes. And then we enter service. Now let's take a look at the high voltage system. Battery is showing 54.7% right now. Let's look at the coolant system. Battery loop inlet shows negative 13C. So clearly the coolant is quite cold. The autopilot computer is sitting right about at freezing, so that may, uh, that may have kept itself warm somehow overnight. The high voltage battery cells are between 12 and 16 below zero Celsius. So it doesn't look like a lot of energy, if any, was used to keep the battery warm. Let's take a look here at the energy menu and see, since our last drive, how much energy was used. And it looks like the mobile app is really what used the most. We didn't use any battery for sentry mode, preconditioning. I purposely tried not to check the app all night so it wouldn't continue to refresh. Not quite sure what the vehicle standby and mobile app accounting for the full six and a half percent, but my estimate is that it's artificially lowering its estimates based on the temperature. Just a hunch, but we'll check back in in uh, a few more hours when it warms up and see what it looks like. All right, so it's noon, uh, it's been a few hours. Uh, it's warmed up to, according to the car, three degrees Fahrenheit. Didn't realize that sentry mode had turned itself on after this morning. So we lost about a percentage of the battery. So we're down to 54% right now. I'm gonna check the battery temperatures and we're gonna go supercharge. I'm curious to see what kind of charging rate I can get at these temperatures. So once again, we'll enter service mode. We're looking at the coolant system. High voltage battery is between negative 12 C and negative 15 C. So that's um, about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to exit service mode here and we're gonna navigate to the supercharger. So in order to do that, we hit navigate, charging, and then nearby charging, there's one in St. Paul here that's not too far away. Looks like there's uh, 12 stalls there. So it's a little busy right now, but we'll go check it out and see what's going on. I'll hit that. We'll find out when we get there how much more heat we were able to pump into the battery and see if that improves our range. So right now you can see we're preconditioning battery for fast charging. So again, it's warming up the battery to get it warm enough to accept the charge as fast as it can. Yeah, I'm curious to see how much this preconditioning heats up the battery and again, see if it boosts our percentage at all. And usually these dots here above the speed limit are not there. I think they're there because the battery's cold and we can't pull the normal power out of the battery that we could otherwise. It's not a problem. I'm still able to accelerate fast enough to get through intersections and such, but uh, it's interesting that the full 350 horsepower or so that this Model Y is capable of is not available right now because of the temperatures. All right, so this is the most full I've ever seen this supercharger. Now we're uh, up to four below Celsius and 12 below C, min and max. So the car probably could have used a little bit more time to heat the battery up, but 
we arrived here. I think there's someone else waiting, and then it'll be my turn to charge. So we'll see what we do for kilowatts. All right, so we just plugged in, and we're getting a message. Batteries heating. Keep charge cable inserted. Charge rate will increase once battery is warm. Right now, it is not charging. Hour and 30 minutes remaining, it says. We're pulling six kilowatts from the supercharger, but as you can see, we're getting zero miles per hour. So I'm gonna pop into the service menu again. We'll just see at what temperature it starts charging. I was not expecting this. Now we had to wait a few minutes because this supercharger was full, so it's probably been about 10 minutes of waiting uh, in the meantime, we cooled, we warmed up to over freezing, so now we're sitting at 5C and uh, the coolest cells at 6 below centigrade. So it's warming up. The heat bump's been cranking about 6,000 RPM constantly. So um, we'll see how much longer it takes before we uh, start accepting a charge into the battery. Been here 10 minutes since we plugged in and uh, still have not attained any charge. Um, I spoke too soon. We have officially now started charging. Now, I believe what happened is the minimum temperature reached 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It was negative 0.5 just a second ago, and now that it's reached 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we've started charging, albeit slowly. We're pulling 12 kilowatts right now. Just to give you an idea how much the idling cost us, uh, at this particular location, so far, it's only cost me a couple quarters to heat up the battery, and in that 10-minute period, we used about 1.3 kilowatt hours. I'm guessing that as the battery warms up, it'll kind of be a snowball effect. Uh, the more power we put into the battery, the warmer that will help it get. So we'll check in in a few more minutes and see how much higher this gets. All right, we've been here officially for 20 minutes, and the first 10 minutes was pretty much spent heating up the battery. We're now charging at 35 kilowatts, so minimum cell temp is at 10.5 C, max is 24 C, so that's a nice comfortable 70 degrees or so. Another notable thing here, um, the car is saying next time make sure you navigate to the supercharger. Now, we did, but it was also a really quick drive to get to this particular supercharger. It was only a 10 minute drive at most, a few miles. So the car didn't have enough time to use the energy it had in the battery to run the heat pump to heat up the battery so that it can accept a fast charge. I'm gonna repeat this test. I'm gonna plug in overnight on just a 120 volt outlet and, and we'll see how just keeping the car plugged in to a regular outlet helps keep the battery temperatures at an acceptable range. So I just stepped outside here again to check the temperatures and uh, I swear just a second ago this snowflake wasn't there. Now it is. So there must be something about that magical 32 degrees Fahrenheit freezing. 756 right now. So again, I'm going to leave the car sit overnight. It's not supposed to get as cold as it was today, uh, only down to about one degree Fahrenheit but that should still give us a good test. Um, the battery is cold, so we'll see what it is after I leave it plugged in overnight. I'm gonna go plug in to 120 volts. We'll see how much charge the battery accumulates, and we'll also see what the temperatures are in the morning when we wake up. All right, good morning. We reached low temperatures in the single digits last night, and we're currently sitting at 14 degrees Fahrenheit according to the car. The car is at 63% right now, so again, 9% overnight. Uh, on a good day, that would have been about 25%, so it's clear that a lot of the energy we pulled from that wall outlet went to heating the battery. It's evident, though, the battery is sitting between 37 and 48 degrees Fahrenheit, according to service mode, so much warmer than the below freezing temperatures we woke up to yesterday. We're going to take off now for the supercharger, plug in, see if we have to spend any time warming up, and we'll see what kind of charge rate we're able to pull this morning. All right, so you can see we immediately started charging. Um, we're charging at 29 kilowatts. Still pretty slow, but we'll take a look to see what the battery temperatures are. So the battery jumped up to 22C and 8C at the lowest. 
so it's definitely warmer than it was yesterday. We have a relatively high state of charge right now, so that could explain a portion of the slow charge rate. But yeah, uh, 35 minutes to an 80% charge. So if we were on the road, probably stop into Target over there and kill a little time. But then again, if we were driving, our battery would probably be warmer than it is right now. So in conclusion, um, it's amazing what 120 volts will do. I saw a great article on Car and Driver that says, if you want to electrify America, start with 120 volts. And I couldn't agree more. Signposts, boulevards, if we just had simple outlets or level one chargers for people to plug into at night, um, we would be able to get through the coldest days of the year quite easily. And then offer up charging throughout the rest of the year. So lesson learned, keep the battery warm if you're trying to supercharge early in the morning. So far, I've been very happy with my Tesla and looking forward to many more years of happy ownership to come.